Okay, Black, well, what you got to offer this time? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Hello, Principal. Have you sorted anything? Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Mm. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Nah, he does hassle Kate. I saw bit. Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Let's bring it to the wait, attention. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have. You, you dick. That's who's next. Eh, uh, no interesting to talk to anyone around. Join us or die. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. But we're already gone one of hey, the friends good side, so let's try another one. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Eh. Yeah, let's do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Let's see if we can get something out of her. Hey, Courtney. Chat. Really? Oh, like... Skip. Dress code. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Mats. Yeah, okay, so. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell oh, you, what, you did I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Yeah, we're in. Ah, it's both Victoria's friends and our good books. Hello, David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? <laughs> Crap, what do we say? Uh, let's stick with the uh, story. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Oh shit, probably not. A good Are you thing. gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong. But upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Eh, he does seem like a good guy. He's probably just going about it the entire wrong way. Warren. Hmm. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed for Nathan. Okay. Okay, probably best not interrupt. Oh, hello, Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Hopefully good things. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. 
Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we should. Yeah, some cameras win. can't be a bad thing. A lot might be, though. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. He does. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Yeah, about the snow. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Shit's Our climate up. is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I'm sure we will. Think, big brain. Think. What's her name? Because she's obviously Brooke. She's so wanting to get Elmore. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Uh, this that's can't be that hard. Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already <laughs> planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Yeah, she definitely wants Warren. Hello. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. None you're asking, asking me. me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium Wait, or is that floating? It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Mm, do potassium it react. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works. You get a free hug. And before it blows up. Damn it. Weird science. So I didn't want to react, surely. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add sure, potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I, I would know. add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hmm. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Not sure about that. That's too far. Uh, okay. Speak. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. I'll skip. Maxwell, skip. Asking me for help means it's not I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Doctor Max. <laughs> I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. <laughs> See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. An Let's evil do one. this thing. I'll just take a step back. She blinded me with science. <laughs> Yo, Warren, how many fingers am I holding up? Oh, fine, we'll do it properly. Hey, Warren. It's definitely worth it. I have to add either a bit it's, of potassium or yeah, sodium. Yeah, beaker is properly screwed decide. up physically. Doc chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Oh, someone has asked the teacher for the answer. Eureka! Really such a wise idea. She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Like looking 
straight into the noxious fumes. Uh, uh, experiment just getting That was off. fun helping Warren. Uh. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Now nah, we're Check already crushing out on the some big else. brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. I don't know about that. That's enough science for today. What's going on here then? You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Hey, Kate, Kate. Why? You don't understand mine. Kate, we're nobody good. does. What's going on? What's nobody. going on, Kate? Kate, hold on. God damn, we can't stop her. Oh dear, that's not a good sign. Yeah, Jefferson, what are you saying? Me, Max, can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. I probably will. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yes. I stepped in between David one. Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. That's what I did My earlier. Number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Unfortunately. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Plenty. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. Like, I just don't really? want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? Uh, with all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be as popular as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Oh, that's getting out of it. That tonal change when we mentioned Rachel's a little bit weird, though. Uh -huh. Were they banging? Can we overhear anything? Sure, okay. Because this isn't suspect at all. Oh, he sees us. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. I don't think we're getting anything out of this. Mm -hmm. Screw him. Hello, Stella. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Maybe not. Dana, you are you take a photo? Control. Photo. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Someone's getting chatted up. Speak. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Maybe not. Okay, as one. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. God damn it. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I can't oh, scoot the sure fuck out the way. To the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. I'll oh, drop both of you. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Bitch, you're gonna get dropped in a flying second. Assholes. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Go on. Right here. Right now. Bring it. I see that scratch on your face. That was me, cunt. Yeah, 
I'm sort of expecting this chair to be tampered with and like fall apart. Oh god damn it. Okay, why is That's David taking photos of That's pretty damn Kate? weird. Now this is so wrong and weird. I think the biggest issue is Kate storming off in a flood of tears. Oh, hello Warren. What are you wanting? Do we tub against those cunts? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today later, dude. and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody Except seen one. Kate Marsh? I, I guess I Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Shut it, bitch. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all okay. over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. God damn it. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Mm, like Max Caulfield, that. for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? That's I'm quite. sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. Cool. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in the- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains God, seated. Thank God we got an excuse to bail. Dismissed. Yeah, you were never winning that one, dude. Right, what's going on? Is this for real? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Wait, what? This can't be good. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 no. We're not doing this. I have to do something to help her. Not again. Not now. No! 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 I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. We're going all the way down back. Oh, we're gonna pause time. Okay. Yeah, this is your fault, asshole. Keep going. Come on, Max, we gotta go to say. Can do it. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. But shit, we really did pause time. Come on, Kate, we're gonna save you, we're gonna save you, Kate, we're gonna save you. We're gonna s is she dabbing? This is really inappropriate time to be dabbing. Fuck it, same Kate, same Kate. Come on, Kate, we're gonna save you. Maybe if this asshole done his job a little bit better, we'd be fine. Come on, let's go. Don't you dare drop that hand, Max. Yes. Thank God. But thank God we got our powers as well. My help is in this situation. Don't say any loud noises. Oh. oh shit. What are you doing here, Max? We're saving your life, Kate. Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now oh, I have shit. to do this by myself. We're on our own. Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. No, okay. please don't. Okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. 
I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Now we have you, okay? Uh, that one. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Yes, we can, Kate. Come on. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Oh, we could not fuck this up. Uh, you're my friend, Kate. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. Oh, that's good to hear. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Uh, I'm gathering proof. Hey, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott Oh, we cannot you. fuck up. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. Yes, you he have is. proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. Yes, we do. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. That's a good sign. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. No, 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 Then no, everybody no. at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. I can't go that far back. Oh, shit. I think we have to hey, go with this, this one. this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. Believe in You're me. Part of the reason I'm a walking why. miracle. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yes! Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about Shit. me. Shit. Nobody. Uh, your father does. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I believe in you, Kate. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please, take the hand. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? Oh, thank God. You saved me from talking in class. Oh, that was stress. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Uh. About that. It was basically me. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, 
Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Okay then. Right. David has been a bit of an arse to her, but I think he means, well, he's just really, really shit at showing it. Jefferson probably should have listened, but, like, we can't really blame him for that. Like, that's about the only thing we got on him, apart from he maybe sounded a bit weird when we brought Rachel up, so... Like, they could have just known each other. There's nothing, we haven't got anything to make Jefferson the bad guy here. And I don't think David is really trying to be bad. It's got to be Nathan, he's a great AR soul. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. Yes, yeah, I dosed dick her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And Hell since yeah. Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Yeah, get it obvious. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Nah, let's stick with that. Madsen seems like a good guy, just really crappy going about it. Jefferson literally probably like should have maybe tried to stop Kate from running off. Sounded a bit weird when he brought Rachel up, but could have just known her. But nothing else apart from that seemed decent enough. And he brought up. Yeah, not grilling us any further, so fair enough. He gets out of this. Nathan's the great day arsehole, though. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Although that Rachel thing I know thing this has been a, a stressful day. Mm -mm. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Probably won't mind looking into that Rachel little quib that Jefferson did. It was a bit weird. He might know something. I wonder if we could ask him why she went missing. If he knows why. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I I can't nail the end us. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, God damn it, I haven't seen this video. I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Not a clue. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. 
I feel that chill. I'm Max, pretty there's sure no eclipse schedule that's today. Not meant to happen. I would know. I would. Oh, fine, we'll let you do that. It's weird enough. I believe We've had a bad day. Have... I'll believe anything this week. Suspended as well for not locking those doors. Doesn't look good. I mean, it could just be sadly a, a student there to kill herself. Oh, can't blame him for that. Go on, Jefferson. What car you driving? You must be decent. Okay, this doesn't seem good. I think that didn't end on some uh, good terms. Oh, I mean, even Victoria has a uh, soft side for this. This brick is massive bad news. He's so completely close to game. Speaking of bad news. Might be Martin the Meatsy, I've already seen him on a bad day. Oh, thank god Kay is still alive. That was so <laughs> stressful. Just uh, maybe keep her away from sharp objects though for the foreseeable future. Max and Chloe working together. Just like old times. You're not alone anymore. Max Caulfield literally on everyone's side. These files again. So Rachel definitely has one. And Kate has one. So they're definitely linked. Okay. And that's episode two out of time. We'll save the credits for the end. Okay, told Kate to wait for more proof. Majority there, not surprising. And Kate's got really had to do that, I think. Uh, not surprising that it was kind of 50-50 on the shoot or not shoot. Oh, I feel bad for the 38% uh, that didn't save Kate. <laughs> oh, God. And definitely siding with the majority on Nathan. More people blame Jefferson than David, though. I'm guessing that must be because of the uh, thing that happened right beforehand with Kate running off and David actually coming fairly decent. Right, didn't water the plan. Oh, on the uh, minority there, helped Alyssa. Fair majority there. Guess it. A surprise own, like, at least 6% didn't raise that link. Friended with Taylor. Not surprising most people weren't, or well, a few people weren't. Oh, sorry, Warren. A bit harsh there. Didn't write a message. That's not surprising. We didn't tamper the, with the uh, rail tracks, okay? Straight split on the Vortex Club as well. <laughs> I mean, technically we helped him, but we didn't help him to start off with. Told him David to Jefferson, yeah. So, most majority of things, a few outliers. Oh shit. Well, 
That looks interesting. Come back next time for episode three, Chaos Theory. See you then.